She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Hi guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sam. So nice to have you. I would love it if you can subscribe and join the family. We're growing pretty fast and it has me super excited that you guys are loving my content. With that being said, if you guys do like the video, please remember to give it a huge thumbs up if you want to and subscribe to my channel because it will help me out and support me so much. Also leave a comment down below because I do answer every single comment and I love chatting with you guys. With all that being said, today I'm going to be filming a hoodie collection. When I was going through my hoodies, I did not realize how many hoodies I actually had until I laid them all out. So I'm going to be doing this hoodie collection by like category just because I feel like that is the most reasonable way to do this video. I have literally so many, I can't express that enough to you guys and I'm so excited. I know it's summertime, but personally I wear hoodies every single day and despite what season it is, you will always find me in a hoodie, especially during these times when I am just staying in my house. So with all that being said, let's get into it. So I have a lot of YouTubers merch, so that is the first category I'm going to do. So the first sweatshirt I have is this red sweatshirt. Should probably move back. So the first sweatshirt I have is this red sweatshirt. This is the front and it is a hoodie and then this is the back. This is my Benway's merch and I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna make the disclaimer now that yes, it has no strings. All of the strings to my hoodies fell out in the dryer and the wash. It's annoying, I'm annoyed, but whatever. This one is super nice and I also really like how it has her name like on the sleeve right here. So I do really like this one and I got this in a size medium. I do like my sweatshirts to be a little bigger. So this is the first one that I picked up and I love Maya so had to pick it up. Moving on to the next one, I got this yellow Dream Chaser hoodie. This is Sydney Serena's and this is the front and then the back is just plain. It does have her name on the bottom right here if you guys can see which is super cute and like small. So it's simple but it still like lets people know that it's her merch which I really like and I love Sydney. She's legit one of my favorite YouTubers in the world. So I had to pick this up and I love the message on it just like dream chaser. I don't know. It just reminds me that anyone can chase their dreams and that is what I'm trying to do right now. So it's always a nice reminder. Um, again, this one does not have strings because they fell out in the dryer and again, I got this in a size medium just to have that like oversized look. The next sweatshirt that I got is actually a crew neck. It looks like this. It says Sash Squad and then on the back it says dopest squad on the internet and I actually got this one in a size small just because for crew necks I like them to be a little more fitted. I really like this one. I wear it a lot when I work out when it like rains outside. I just find that this is like the perfect fit for me to wear with leggings and it just like matches everything. I also wear it a lot to sleep obviously clean. This one is from Josh and Sav on YouTube. I really like their channel and obviously it's a couple channel but overall I just thought this was super cute and I had to have it. Next, I picked up this little pink create sweatshirt. This is Steph Pappas's merch. Love her channel as well. I really like how her channel is more of like a food channel and mukbang channel. Literally such good content. So when I saw that she made this, I knew I had to pick it up. I love how it says create in like cursive. And then on the sleeve, there's also a little rose, which is adorable. I think it's again simple, but still puts so much to the sweatshirt. Once again, it has no strings and I got it in a size medium. And the back is just just plain. So it's really just a simple light pink sweatshirt with a little accent on it with the words and the rose and I don't know I just thought it was adorable so picked that one up as well. That is all the merch I have in sweatshirts for YouTubers and everyone like that. I do have other YouTubers merch but it's in like t-shirts so maybe I'll do a t-shirt collection haul if you guys want to see that let me know comment down below. But moving on to the next style of sweatshirts I'm going to talk about like places that I've been to. So this includes like schools, vacations, and everything like that. So the first one I got is actually a zip up and it's one of the only ones that actually has the drawstrings on it but it's a Walt Disney World sweatshirt and the back is just plain. It just says Walt Disney World and it is a hoodie, which I really like when zip ups come with hoodies. I mean, most of them do, but I don't know, I just like that. And 
it is in a size small with zip ups I do usually get smalls just because I feel like they're more fitting and kind of more stylish when they're more fitting on my body at least the next one I have is a hoodie. This one actually isn't mine. It's my friend's. And I honestly forgot I had it until today. So I think I'm going to text her and ask her if she wants it back. Because I totally forgot I even had it. It was just in the back of my closet. She literally gave me this in high school one day. And then I just forgot to give it back. But it's an Arizona sweatshirt. And it's really cute. It is obviously from Arizona. I've never been to Arizona. Like I said, it's my friend's. And it is in a size large so i'm assuming she likes oversized as well because she is very petite but love it and think it's super cute but i will be giving it back to her the only reason i included it in the haul at all was because it is part of my collection right now but won't be when i give it back oh my gosh i found another one that has the strings on it wow we have a couple but it's because i literally never wore this before all right so the next one i have is this lifeguard outer banks little hoodie and I like how it says lifeguard on the top of the hood as well. I find that so simple, but again, like more stylish and gives an accent to the sweatshirt. This is what it looks like. And I believe I got this in a size small. Yeah, just to have it more fitting and everything like that. Overall, super cute color. I love the color maroon, especially in the summertime. And I love having more like bright colors in the summertime as well. Even though this isn't that bright, it's still more of like a standout sweatshirt. So I picked that up when I went to the Outer Banks. And now I'm so happy I have it because, you know, like Outer Banks show kind of like reminds me of that. But I love this sweatshirt and definitely have to wear it more because I honestly don't wear a lot of these sweatshirts so much. Next, I have this dark blue sweatshirt. It says Deerfield Beach, and it's from Florida. It looks like this, and it is in a size small. I used to go to Florida all the time, so just having a Florida sweatshirt was a necessity. I literally went like three times a year when I was little, so I picked that one up. It's really nice and still fits me, so I'm happy. It's a size small, so it's more of like that fitting style again. The next sweatshirt I have is from Chicago. I've actually never been to Chicago. My parents went and picked it up for me. So it looks like this. It is in a size small small and it does have the hood but again there is no strings what a surprise the material of the sweatshirt is super soft i like can't explain how soft it is i absolutely love it and this is probably a sweatshirt i will never give away just because of how soft it is and it's from illinois chicago and also i forgot to say but on it it says windy city and i thought that was really cute just because like chicago is known as the windy city so I'm happy that my mom picked that one out for me. This sweatshirt that I'm going to show you guys next, I got because I loved the color of it. It says Long Beach Island. I got it last year and I love how in the middle it has like the date. I thought that was really nice. This is 1899, which I think is when Long Beach Island was found. Don't quote me on that, but I assume that's why it's on the sweatshirt. I got this in a size large because I wanted it to be super oversized. When I wear leggings and jeans and stuff, I love it, but I've never wore it before because it was shoved in the back of my closet. But now I know I have it and will definitely be wearing it a lot, especially in the winter. And I'm going to LBI in a week, so I'll be bringing it there as well to wear when it's cold on the beach at night and in the morning. Moving on to the next one, if you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you would know that I went to Disney this year in 2019 actually during December and I picked up this Walt Disney World sweatshirt. It's a yellow color and it has the fun colors on the top of the sweatshirt. This one actually does have the strings because I've only wore it like twice. This one is really nice. I got it in a size small and I'm just realizing I have a lot of destination sweatshirts like wow. <laughs> Lastly, the next one that I got is this hazel sweatshirt. I kid you not, this is one of my favorite crew necks to ever exist. Hazel is a store in LBI and I know it's in other parts of New Jersey but I just got it in this light blue color and then it says hazel on it I got it really oversized if you guys can see I think it's in a size large I believe yeah I got it in a size large and then the back is just plain blue this sweatshirt was so expensive it was like $65 I don't know if it was worth it but I love it a lot so I'm happy that I picked it up now we are going to move on to the next collection that I have and that is the school collection. So I don't have that many. I have about like four to five sweatshirts from different schools. So the first one I have is this sweatshirt from Rutgers. I like it because it's also sponsored by Nike and it does have the strings. That's only because it's my mom's and then she gave it back to me. But it looks like this. I think it's a cute, really bright color sweatshirt. So 
I do like it and I do wear it occasionally. I actually wear it to Seton Hall all the time and I don't know if that's weird to wear to my school, but I just do. The next one I have, I'm not gonna show just because it says the name of my old high school and it says like my town on it, but it looks like this and that is just another one that I wanted to include but not show the front because I didn't want you guys to know the exact town I live in in New Jersey so hopefully that's understandable but that one is really soft and in a size small this one is from Seton Hall it just says Seton Hall it's also a really soft sweatshirt as well and it has a little pocket here in the front and it's also from Under Armour which I really like because that means it is really good quality. I got this in a size small as well and I just overall really like it. I wear it a lot on rainy days when I run and it is perfect and doesn't have me too hot or too cold. Lastly is another sweatshirt from my old high school. It looks like this. That's the back and this is the front. I really like this one. I wear it occasionally, not all the time, but I wear it to sleep and I have that in a size small. This one isn't as soft. It's more of like the dry fit material, but I still like it and think that it's a good sweatshirt to have in my collection. All right, I have two more, but I have to get them. So moving on to like the brands, I have a Puma sweatshirt, which I actually got from Marshalls, I believe. It was on sale and I knew I had to pick it up. It's this light blue Puma size small sweatshirt. I love this color light blue. I think it's so festive and nice for the summer, kind of like pastel, but not too pastel. So I knew I had to pick this up. Surprisingly, it does have the strings in it still. I'm getting surprised by how many actually do have the strings. It's just the ones that I wear on a daily basis don't, which is kind of annoying. But that is this one. And then lastly, I have a sweatshirt that is actually my boyfriend's, but he gave it to me. And it's part of my collection, so I'm going to include it. It does have the strings because it's his. And it's just a Nike sweatshirt. It's really big because it's obviously not mine. And I love it. It's kind of like the dry fit workout material again, but it's super nice nice to wear to bed so have this one as well so as this haul wraps up you guys can tell that I have a lot of sweatshirts and some of them are actually not even here yet I ordered more I ordered Luna Montana's merch and I also am gonna order Julia K Krista's merch when it comes out this Saturday and I'm also waiting on a sweatshirt I ordered literally in April and it's still not here it's for my sorority so hopefully it's coming soon it's a Kappa Kappa Gamma sweatshirt and it's tie-dye so I wanted to include that in this video which is why I waited so long but it's not gonna get here until like July because the company's having issues with shipment and everything which is completely understandable but I just decided to throw this all together now and not wait for the sweatshirt any longer because this video has been requested a while ago and I felt so bad making you guys wait so thank you so much for the people who did wait and knew about it and voted for it on my channel and then we're probably left wondering where it is it's finally here i'm sorry for the long wait but that's why i was waiting this is also a sweatshirt that i'm wearing but it's more of like a crew neck kind of like v-neck one and i really like it it's just one that i tie-dyed it was white and then i obviously tie-dyed it just forgot about that i also have one in pink but it's in the wash that is it for this video if you guys liked it i would really appreciate it if you can give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because when you do that it pushes my video out to other people and gets me more recognized which i really appreciate and i want to talk to all of you in the comments down below so make sure to comment what your favorite hoodie is or literally anything i love talking to you guys unless it's mean i'll delete your comment because that's not what i promote on my channel hope you guys understand that with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye